Hello. The last time I talked a little bit about the history of, of, of parishes and, and whatnot, what I'd like to do today is to talk about some of the implications that we have here at Our Savior as a parish, particularly in the face of what we've been going through this last year plus with the restrictions thanks to the pandemic. The first thing I want to mention is, you know, we stress, thanks to the Second Vatican Council, the importance of full, conscious, active participation. We have been absolutely hamstrung in that area in this last year. And I would raise the idea that, okay, it's true, as Jesus said in the Gospel, in chapter 18 of Matthew, where two or three are gathered, there I am. And yet, for a long time this past year, the so-called two or three gathered have been me and a deacon. And we've been live streaming the Mass for you all to watch. That's been a real burden emotionally and spiritually for me, and I know it has to have been for you as well. It's one of the reasons why when we were given permission, we started doing and are continuing to do communion on the porch, to do anything we can to connect with one another. Because connection is what parish is all about. Why? Because parish is about community. There are things that we aren't, we were not able to do. We're getting better and better at being able to re, uh, reclaim some of these. And it, this is important. It's why when people are hungry, at the end of all the uh, celebrations of the Eucharist that we've had on live stream, I've been doing the prayer for spiritual communion knowing that people aren't able to come. Some of you all do come on Friday mornings and after the 11 o'clock Mass on Sunday, and I thank God for you that you come for the sacraments even if you don't feel comfortable yet coming for the full celebration of the Eucharist in the church. We're working more and more and more to be able to open up, and one of the biggest reasons we can, if you all will help us, is by people getting vaccinated so that we can know that everybody can be safe or safer anyhow. So what we wanna do is to be able to be people who can gather in community. That's what parish life is about. We will not be able to do this on Palm Sunday for Stations of the Cross. It just logistically, it's too much for us. But we will be able to do it here in the courtyard of the church and on the porch of the church, three o'clock on Good Friday. We will be able to have Holy Thursday, and the solemn procession and adoration of the Eucharist until midnight. We will be able to do these things. We will be able to venerate the cross. We will be able to have an Easter vigil, even if it is modified. Please, as much as we can open up, please help us, please join us. And most of all, please get vaccinated. So thank you very much. God bless you. And I'll talk about another topic another time. Thank you.